Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for popping in this week and joining me for another coffee break. So I hope you've got your brew, maybe a cheeky biscuit, piece of cake, what are you thinking? Now today I need to make a quick Chris, uh, Christmas, got Christmas on the on the brain, a quick birthday card. Um, I've got quite a lot of birthdays this month and um, you don't always have the time, do you? Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly don't. I'd love to have, but you know, it's one of them. Now, the thing is as well, also I've been using the clean colour pens from Curataki, the Zig pens, the water markers, fabulous. I've uh, been doing lots of colouring in and I've got a great quick little cheat of a, a card to make to show you. So this is what I'm going to create and it really is one of those um, five minute cards. So what I'm going to do is just show you and I've got my watercolour card here and it's cut. It's five and a half inches by five and a half inches purely because I know it's going on a six by six card blank. Now, as always, I'm putting a black Sharpie line round and I'm doing this at the beginning because if I do it at the end, Murphy's Law says it will whiz right across my card. And I don't know why. There are some of you very clever people out there who manage to do it perfect every time. If I think about it too much, it whizzes. We'll get rid of that piece. And what we're going to do is stamp our image first. And this is beautiful stamp. It's called Lily from Lavinia. And this is gorgeous for colouring in, for you can decoupage if you're good at cutting out. Huh. It's a fussy cut in there. I know some of you, Barbara, I know you're not keen. But this is a great one for colouring in. And again, if you're somebody who has got time and you want to do some lovely colouring in, it's perfect for that. And I'm just literally going to stamp it here on the side. This is going to be one of those, you know, I like my clean space. But you know what? This technique, I bet you've got lots and lots of different stamps that will be perfect with this. And I'm going to put a sentiment just here and I'm just putting on the birthday wishes. Like I say, got lots of birthday cards. So I'm thinking we're just going to put that there. And that's from the heartfelt verses. And then what I'm going to do is just give it a little bit of a blot. And then all I'm going to do is have a sip of my coffee and I'm going to come in with my clean colour and I've picked a green, it's light green, although I thought it was mid green but who knows. And then a couple of blues and again I go off the colour I like, that's light blue and uh, a blue. So I'm going to, now for this, you don't need to be precise. I'm just going to put a little bit on the stem down here and on that leaf. And then I'm going to take the lids off. And um, with the darker blue, I'm just going to add some colour. Now, I know you're probably shouting at me saying, Joe, we think you've lost the plot. Do you know what? And I'm going to come in with my lighter colour. And this is one of these fabulous techniques where do you know what? You don't have to go in the lines. Now, if you wanted to actually do a different technique and colour this, look, you can blend the darker blue into the light blue, like I've shown you before. But for this technique, we're just doing this. Right, and then we're going to take our water and I'm just going to get myself one of those lovely little pointy things or what I think I will do is just add a little bit of green there and a little bit of green under there now obviously if you wanted to leave it coloured perfectly that's how it would look but today I'm just going for more of an arty look so I just want to spritz it with water it's watercolour card so it will spritz beautifully now if there's any bits that you're not keen on you, you think they've spritzed too much, just mop it up with your kitchen towel. 
if there's any bits you want to move a bit more just move it with your, your water look but how quick was that and I have to say for me I love the effect that you get just going to mop a little bit up I don't want to take too much off because I actually like that colour so while it's drying I can have another sip of my coffee this would be a great design you know for batch card making now just for the purposes of this I'm going to speed it along and just dry it a bit obviously at home it's best if you just let it dry naturally but just for us today we'll speed it along I mean, like I say, at home I think you could make two or three of these. And I'm thinking, could we turn this into a Christmas design? I told you, I've got Christmas on the mind. You see, I'm thinking Christmas, we could definitely batch card make this. So I'm going to look at my stamps now and see which one would benefit from this design. Now, if I bring it a bit closer, if I can show you, I love the bits like this look, where it's dried and we get these gorgeous... And just around there, and here if you look, we've got some odd little dots. I love those. But just to finish off, I'm going to come in with my Wink of Stella and just add a little bit of sparkle onto the actual bluebell and the leaves. And again, if I bring that up, now obviously the Wink of Stella sparkles more when it's dry. So if I bring in my original one, ah, there we go. See, I've got a new cameraman. Look, he's picked it up so it sparkles. But look at that, two cards, exactly the same, but both look slightly different. And that's what I love about this. If anything, I actually like this one with this bit and this bit more. So I hope you're going to have fun. On my envelope, I've just stamped it and then I've added a couple of Wink of Stella splats. Um, sorry, I, I lie. Posca splats. Just because the Posca, once it's dry, it's permanent. So again, that's why I haven't used my watercolour pens on my envelope. Just because if it gets wet, I don't want it running. I mean, that might be a nice effect, but I don't know what my postman would think if he ended up with blue fingers. <laughs> so, I hope you have a play around with that. Such a fun technique. And I'm going to just sit now, finish my coffee and actually get my box of stamps out and see which other stamps I could have a play with. You take care. Thanks for popping in. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.